This week I want to start by saying a big thank you to everyone, not just those key workers, all workers, volunteers, those no longer working, children that are homeschooling, parents that are juggling life between homeschooling and um, um, home life, those of you who are isolating, those of you that are recovering, those of you who are looking after others, thank you. It's been a hard six weeks and I know for many the uncertainty is difficult and for some energy levels are now low but we must keep going. We must keep social isolating, we must keep looking after the most vulnerable in our communities and we must not give up. But we must also look after ourselves both physically and mentally. Isolating at home can bring or encourage a range of challenges including increased anxiety, loneliness and stress. So it's important to take time out for yourself if you can. Try to exercise if possible either inside or outside. Eat healthily. Do some things that you enjoy. Phone a friend and switch off the TV news sometimes. There are lots of tips and place to seek advice on Healthy Surrey. Isolating at home can also increase friction and sadly we know there has been an increase in domestic abuse. Please know that there are still support for those experiencing domestic abuse. Amongst other organisations, Surrey Domestic Abuse Partnership is still very much there and offering help. Help is available and I encourage you to access it whatever you need. And finally, um, a lighter note. I'd like to highlight the virtual YMCA fun run. Uh, it was due to take place this weekend in Priory Park, but this year is actually happening virtually. You can take part uh, any time between the 1st and the 31st of May. Myself and the Mayor, Councillor Keith Foreman, will both be doing five miles on Friday. And I know the uh, Chief Executive, John Jury, is also participating as well. We'd love to see as many people join and support the YMCA as possible, and please share your photographs. Thank you, stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives.